So I'm here with Tiffany Cyper of Alien Spike uh, here at Baltimore Comic Con 2015. So tell me a little bit about Alien Spike. Alien Spike is a webcomic I've been working on for about a, a, about a year. Um, it's basically a JRPG meets American space opera. It follows the adventures of four teenagers when they meet an alien and a robot, and then they go try to save the galaxy, try being the operative word. Well, yeah, the classic story of teenagers <laughs> meet alien robot, of course. Yeah. It has a lot of like common tropes, but there's a lot of stuff that's broken, <laughs> too. Like, there's yeah. um, interesting stuff going on. <laughs> sure, sure. And uh, you said it's it's currently a web a webcomic? Yes. And uh, right now you're having a Kickstarter to publish it as a book, right? Yes. And will it be like individual issues like this one or one whole book? Actually, this is the first issue. The Kickstarter is to fund the first four uh, parts put into one book. Because I realize that people don't want to pay $15 <laughs> for one comic when they can pay 25 or 30 for a full book. And uh, so what's your what's your process like? The, the art looks very, very uh, unique, very different than typical um, art. I started with a mixed style of like Jonah Bosco's and anime yeah. uh, when I was really young and that just has morphed into its own style over time and I've always tried to stay in that line between anime and cartoon. Because I, I, I don't want to be anime because I'm not from Japan, I'm not Japanese, I, like, I want to have American influence. Yeah. And so, and I work in Illustrator, so that helps with the uniqueness of it because a lot of, working in Illustrator is hard. Sure. Um, when I first got into it, I was like, I was like, nope, I'm gonna put that away for the next 10 years. And then in college, a teacher forced me to, and then I've been working in it ever since. So are you working completely in digital? Yes, completely digital. I do do sketch panels before, like I go on the computer to work, but all the computer stuff is done directly on the computer. And uh, when we were talking before, you also mentioned that you have an animated portion of the book. Yeah, the first several pages in the comic <laughs> are actually animated online. Um, and what, what, what was that process like for someone that normally draws static art? Oh, goodness. Um, well, I work in Flash, and one of the benefits of working in Illustrator is you can take the vector portions of your Illustrator bit and just put it into Flash and tween it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, tweening, tweening is like, wow, you know, uh, you don't need a whole bunch of Disney animators doing all the busy work yeah. in between. It's all keyframes and hoping that it doesn't mess up when you <laughs> put it into the motions. And uh, how did you find the uh, people to do the voice talent for the... I actually don't have any voice actors right now. The first voice actor I used was for the Kickstarter <laughs> video, and that's my friend Hanari. She's a cosplayer. She's cosplayed a, a really amazing characters like Opal and um, Peridot from CB Universe, as well as, um, gosh, she's cosplayed so much. Um, but yeah, she's really awesome, and and hopefully I can get some more voice actors in the future, but it, the animations typically don't really need them. It's uh, action-oriented or sometimes even a game that you can play. And uh, so, so how do you um, feel it, 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 it's different portraying action when you have to go panel by panel versus when you get to animate it? Do you feel um, that it's easier, that it's harder? Do you, do you find yourself like, so you could show a punch here and then you can show it connecting, but if you're doing animation, you have to show the whole punch and that type of stuff. I've learned, I, in college I took an animation course, oh, nice. so I do have a little bit of background. Yeah. Um, it, honestly, comics and animation are not that far separated because basically think of every comic panel like a keyframe. Sure. And you turn it into an animation when you basically just make that frame move until it goes to the next break. Sure, yeah, yeah. And uh, is there anything about the Kickstarter that people should know before we end? Um, it's running until November 8th, and it's gonna be covering the first four parts, as I already said. Um, you can start getting the book as low as $10 for the PDF and the book itself at 25 Perfect, thank you so much. All right.